This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. All right, it is 6.53. Let's get you up to speed with everything you need to know on your Monday here in the Morning Sprint. Destiny Richards is in studio with tips on how you can keep your heart healthy and lower your risk of heart disease. But first, let's get to Mark Peterson telling us about some serious winter weather heading our way. Yeah, we've got weather alert days called for Tuesday and Wednesday because we want to keep you safe. So this is what we're tracking for Tuesday and Wednesday in Spokane and North Idaho. It's going to be the snow, severe road travel, and then we're going to get uh, very dangerous wind chill temperatures. 72 hour forecast has us mountain snows throughout Idaho and into the Cascades, but we're going to see it in the lower elevations as well. And it's going to be a busy 72 hours. Our high today is going to be 48. Breaking news this morning, President Biden made an unofficial visit to war-torn Ukraine this morning. He planned to meet for uh, extended discussions with President Volodymyr Zelensky and other officials. He's talking about delivery of critical equipment, including artillery ammunition, anti-armor systems, and air surveillance radars. Idaho State Police investigating a crash in Post Falls. It sent a 19-year-old man to the hospital early Sunday. It happened on Highway 41 at Prairie Avenue. Police say the car hit a Lexus SUV that was driving east. An 18-year-old and a 19-year-old were inside that Lexus. ISP says the driver of the Toyota, who was hospitalized, was not wearing a seatbelt. Attorneys in the Idaho murder case want a gag order to stay in place, saying suspect Brian Koberger is fighting for his life. Koberger faces four murder charges for the deaths of four University of Idaho students last November. The judge has a broad gag order in place, prohibiting anyone involved from making any statements outside of the courtroom. A large group of local and national news organizations, including KXLY, are challenging that order with the Idaho Supreme Court, saying it's too broad and violates the First Amendment rights of the people involved. In a motion filed Friday, Koberger's public defender says her client should be heard on this matter, saying Mr. Koberger's life depends on this system remaining intact. He must be permitted to fight for it if this court decides to consider the media's petition. This man, 62-year-old Patrick Joe Cabiza, is now facing child rape and molestation charges. Detectives say more victims, and specifically boys, may be out there. We're not going to go into graphic detail here, but we want to warn you, these charges are disturbing, and the crimes happened in Spokane Valley. Cabiza is accused of raping two young boys at his home this past winter. According to court documents, the boys were staying at his house since the mom says Cabiza had become like a grandfather to the family. The day the rapes happened, the boys told detectives they saw pills hidden in the pizza and wings they had ordered for takeout that night. In court documents, police say they found pink pills believed to be narcotics. And more details in the story and the number for the detective on this case is on our website, kxy.com. Keeping your heart healthy is important at any age and any time of year. According to Providence, heart diseases like coronary artery disease can affect people as young as 20 years old. Heart disease is preventable, but genetics and lifestyle choices play a major role in one's risk for heart disease. Nicole LaFord, a registered dietitian and cardiophysiologist at Providence, says getting up and moving is one big way to lower your risk. It doesn't take running or sweating a lot, but just clock in 150 minutes a week and do what you can. Here's what it will take for you to lower your risk for heart disease. It takes a change in lifestyle habits as well as staying up to date with your yearly checkups and health screenings. For more information, see this story now on KXLY.com. Classes will resume at Michigan State University today. This comes just a week after a gunman opened fire on campus, killing three people and wounding five others. The university's interim provost says the community is still dealing with the shock of what happened last week and hopes students, faculty, and staff continue their healing. One person was killed and 10 were injured early yesterday after a pair of shootings in Tennessee that police believe are connected. One of those shootings taking place at Memphis's Live Lounge, where seven people were shot. And just a mile down the road, one man was killed and three victims were left in critical condition after a second shooting took place. Police are still trying to confirm what the shooter's motive might have been. Today is President's Day. The Spokane County offices will be closed for the day, but the city of the Spokane offices will be open as usual. All Spokane Public Library branches will be closed for the day. Municipal court employees will be working. They are available by phone all day. You do not have to plug parking meters downtown. We'll check in with weather next. 
For News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield, that could earn you up to $500 every year or more. Pure Filtration Products is your Inland Northwest indoor air quality specialist. With a 12,000 square foot warehouse of filters, you are sure to find what you need for your commercial, industrial, or manufacturing needs. I recommend working with PFP because they have the product that I need. PFP's high quality products can assist in eliminating airborne contaminants. PFP can size UV light to your system to disinfect the air to keep it clean and safe. I recommend PFP because of their service, the quality of their product, and I'll keep coming back. Call or come in and talk to one of our certified air filtration specialists. Looking for quality and experience? Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic has been providing personalized care to their clients for over 30 years. Full dentures, implant attachments, repairs, fittings, adjustments, they do it all. With competitive costs and quality service, you'll leave Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic smiling. All right, good morning, everybody. Taking a live look at what is a cloudy sky. We are going to see uh, those winds. They're going to be firing up today, so we want you to be aware of that. Uh, cloud cover throughout today. Rain showers coming in about 4 o'clock, so again, be prepared for that uh, on the way home today. Now, tomorrow, it's going to be the snow that moves in tomorrow afternoon with winds tonight into tomorrow. So again, we have a weather alert day because of the snow, and then on Wednesday, a weather alert day because of the winds and the cold temperatures with dangerous wind chill temperatures. Also, bless you, Derek. Thank you for covering your sneeze. Two sneezes <laughs> live on air this morning. Goodness gracious, GMA is coming up next. <laughs>